for forecast. We want to say good morning, everybody. 4.30 a.m. on this Monday, it's August 22nd. I'm Michael Gargiulo. Darlene Rodriguez has the morning off. Adele Caballero is tracking our roads and our rails since Storm Team 4's Marie LaRosa is here with a look at today's forecast. So mm. things have really changed around. Yeah, we love this. I, I, I wrote a note to the producer this morning. I called it Nectar from the Weather Gods. Nectar from the Weather Gods. <laughs> it's like so, Maria, I have to ask you, I don't know if you've looked at Williamsport. Oh, I have. Okay, so how's it looking? It's looking kind of like, uh, so unfortunately, some showers, maybe wow. a few rumbles of thunder through uh, central PA. Temperatures here, too, into the 70s. So we'll be rooting for them. I know they've got a taste of that hunger. Rooting for them back home, yes, we've got similar conditions. Temperatures staying in the 70s. Hoboken, Mount Vernon, Westport, Hopog by 2 p.m. Still looking at a chance for some showers. I'll time out when that shower chance ends and the heat begins. Yes, we've got it back in the 10-day forecast. All right, Maria, thanks so much. It's coming together today. We've got the Little League World Series. We've got the Yanks and the Mets. And we have preseason. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of join forces here and with the uh, Mets and Yanks forecast and kind of the Jets forecast all at the same time here. Uh, we're looking at chance of showers and temperatures into the 70s. We'll definitely keep a close eye on the radar, see if there's any lightning, but at kickoff at 8 p.m., uh, things are just looking gray and showery temperature right about 75 degrees, and that's about where we're going to be through halftime and the fourth quarter. So as we look at East Rutherford, things are mainly gray right now. We've had some showers come through, but getting a little bit of a reprieve before we'll likely see some things pick up again today. It's 75 right now at Newark. That dew point's all the way up to 71, so it's definitely feeling a tropical out there. You can see the radar and satellite over the last three hours, sort of a slow drift from the southwest to the northeast. And then, of course, that heavy rain that was falling.